Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Breaks here continuing to cook up this NBA action, man. Y'all know we do here on the Jam Session. We cook up every single game, every single day, man. The cold streak continues, man. I'm trying to shake it, bro. I'm trying to shake it. I'm trying to shake it. I had the magic again yesterday, man. I really think they can beat the Cavs. I'm going to tell you right here, right now, I'm going to be on them in Orlando, game three. Um, I trust them at home for show. And I thought that they had a legitimate chance to beat Cleveland outright in that last game. Cleveland, though, they're tough at home. Um, they were tough yesterday. Hats off to them. Remember, though, these series are seven-game series. Um, a lot of basketball left to be played. And the home team, straight up, they're 11-0, man. Um, we'll see if that trend continues into today. We got three games on deck, and y'all know the drill, man. We're trying to shake this cold streak. We're trying to kick the crap out of the books. We're trying to smash it per usual, man. I appreciate each and every one of you that continue to tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And, of course, I have premium plays over at the site. Money making Tuesday, fellas. I'm here showing up. I'm trying to break the cold streak, man. Um, it is what it is. It is what it is. I ain't going to let it rattle me, man. Y'all know what we do here. We all know what I do here. Let's get back on track tonight, man. Without further ado, let's hop right into tonight's NBA action. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get her done. First game up. We got the Minnesota Timberwolves at home at the crib, laying two and a half on the Phoenix Suns. First game, we took the T-Wolves and we took the under. We cashed with the T-Wolves. The under, uh, the total in that game was 214 and a half. Combined, the two teams scored 215. Yeah, it was one of those. But, in all honesty, I like both of those same plays here in this one again. I like the T-Wolves and I like the under. We've seen the total come down a couple points from 214, down about three points. Um, in the postseason thus far in the NBA, we've seen the unders cash at a really high rate. The under has been the play in the NBA thus far in the playoffs, and that's not surprising. Um, it's a different brand of basketball than the regular season. You know what I mean? In the regular season, every possession doesn't matter. You know, you see teams kind of go through stretches of playing lack of physical defense. In the playoffs, you ain't got that room for error. Um, the margin for error is slim. Um, it's a different brand of basketball in the postseason. The Suns, what concerns me is their jump shooters. Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, Kevin Durant. They're all jump shooters. And, you know, can they get hot and win a few games? Most definitely. Do I want to bet that they do that on the road against one of the best defensive teams in the NBA? No, I do not. Um, so that's why I'm on Minnesota here. I thought Minnesota defensively in that game one looked really good. Um, and I think we can expect them to D up like that again here. Um, you know, we've seen the home court be a real advantage thus far in the postseason. Home teams are 11 and 0 coming in today, straight up on the money line. I don't think Phoenix has enough to overcome the defensive, um, pressure that the Timberwolves are putting on them plus the environment I think it's going to be a really tough ask of Phoenix to win this game is the series over if Minnesota goes up 2-0 no not at all when Phoenix get back to Phoenix I think they're definitely especially down 2-0 be looking to respond um but here in this one today I think I got a roll with the defense of the T-Wolves -T I think um Anthony Edwards has arrived you know, we saw him have his moment against Kevin Durant um, late in that basketball game. I know that moment had to be surreal for him. I like the T-Wolves in this one. I know I've called them the house of disappointment, but, and they still are that. But I, I like them here in this spot. And I also like the under again, um, under 211 and a half here in our first game of the day. Next game up. We got the Indiana Pacers out on the road facing the Milwaukee Bucks. Bucks, one and a half point home favorites in this one. Hey, the Bucks showed up in that first game. I was actually surprised to see that happen. 
In hindsight, not really. One thing that I did forget to incorporate into that last game was playoff Dame. Man, man, oh man, how I have missed Dame Lillard, man. Dame Lillard might be one of my all-time, he's in my all-time favorite playoff performers, I swear to God. Um, that game winner over the Rockets is probably my favorite shot of all time. Uh, me, I'll never forget that moment watching that shot with my dad, man. That's probably one of my favorite shots of all time. Um, you know, he got the one over Paul George. What did he have, 30 in the first half the other day? Dame Lillard is a playoff performer, one like we haven't seen in a long time. Thing is, though, if I were to bet this game, it's hard for me not to want to take Indiana. Of all three games today, this one is probably my least favorite, in all honesty, if I'm going to call a spade a spade with y'all. Reason being is because, A, the home teams have been so dominant um, to start the postseason. B, Dame Lillard in the postseason, just a different player, different monster, different animal. We saw that last game. And C, the inexperience for the Indiana Pacers. Um, the reason I like them is, hell, outside of that last game, outside of the game they just played the other day, we've seen Indiana beat up on Milwaukee all season. So we know they can beat them. We've seen them beat them at full strength. Um, they own them, really, thus far this season. So I want to take Indiana here. I really, really do. But with the dominance of the home teams, with the way Damian Lillard looked in that first game, I wouldn't be surprised if Milwaukee won this game. Um, I doubt Giannis plays here. Here's what I want to do. For the video purpose, I'm on the Pacers. The play for me is the Pacers. Is it a premium? No, it's not. Uh, is this a 50-50 game? Most definitely. So, in 50-50 games, what do I say all the time? I'd rather A, attack the plus money, or B, have the points in my back pocket. And that's what we have here with the Pacers. There's an avenue where they come in here and win this game, bro. They've owned the Bucks all season long. We've seen them beat them multiple times, beat them in the end-season tournament. Um, we've seen it happen. We know they can do it. If Dame doesn't come out on fire like he did in that last one, I think the Bucks are in some real, real trouble. I don't think Halliburton is going to play nearly as bad as he did in that last one. Only nine points. We know he's better than that. So I'm kind of looking for a response here for Indiana. I'm going to take them here. Here in our second game of the night. In our last and final game of the night, man, we got my favorite team. The Dallas Mavericks out on the road facing the Los Angeles Clippers. Clippers, one and a half point home dogs. Look, again, I have to keep bringing it up because I think it's very important. The home teams thus far are 11-0 straight up to begin the NBA playoffs. This is the one, though, where I'm throwing that shit out the window. I'm taking my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks. It's still fuck the Clippers. Respectfully, y'all knew that, though, man. Look, when I watch, I watched that entire last game start to finish a couple times. I actually thought the Mavs didn't play as bad as people tried to portray it to be. I thought they just had a bad stretch early to start the game at the very beginning, and then they had a fairly bad stretch in that second quarter. Outside of that, I thought they played well. Um, playoff James Harden showed up. You know what I mean? I call it spade a spade. Shout out to James Harden. James Harden, we know, can go nuclear in spots, and he did last game. But we also know James Harden can completely disappear and lay eggs in the postseason. And I wouldn't be surprised if that happened today. Um, I expect Luka and Kyrie to come in here locked in, laser-focused, and get this one done. Um, I One of my biggest takeaways from that last game, though, wasn't even none of the stars. The biggest thing that I took away from that game was the experience at the big position. Zubak, I think, is what kind of dictated that game. He got Gafford in foul trouble early. You could tell Zubak had playoff experience. You could tell he knew how to move, when to move, and what to do in the playoffs. Gafford and Lively. Lively's a rookie. Gafford, that was his real first playoff action. Um, he came out after the game. 
And he said, I got to be better. I will be better. And I believe him. He's been really good for us all season long. You know, first game of the postseason, we've seen plenty of guys look like deer in headlights. It's a completely different game. I expect to see Luka the Don have a much better game than he had. He had a pretty bad game for his standard and still ended up with the stat line he had. Um, he'll be improved here. Basketball, more so than anything, is a game of runs. Um, Mavs had a bad run to start the game, and they had a bad run in the second quarter. If they avoid those, or if they put the pedal to the metal, they'll be just fine here. They'll win this game. The other side of the thing is I trust my Mavs as a road favorite. 19-5 and five this season, ATS as a road favorite. That's been their spot, bro. When they're favored on the road, they get it done. That's why I said I'm kind of throwing that shit out the window. The home team in, in this one, if there's going to be a team that's going to win on the road um, in the postseason, it's the team that's won on the road when they're supposed to all season, and that is the Dallas Mavericks. So I trust playoff Kyrie. I think Luka has a much better game. Um, I think the bigs for the Mavs have a better game, and I think that's all that last game really came out to be. Um I think the Clippers played pretty much as well as they could have in that basketball game. Um, I think that's going to be really hard for them to replicate. We'll see if they get it done, but y'all know what it is, man. It's fuck the Clippers, respectfully. I'm on my favorite team, the Dallas Mavericks, here in our last and final game of the night. And that's going to conclude this episode of my NBA Jam Session. As always, I appreciate each. And every one of you boys and girls that continue to tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And of course, I have premium plays over at the site, including that NBA play of the day, man. I know. I know. I know. I've been cold, man. Looking to bounce back today, though. Bounce back Tuesday. Money making Tuesday. Appreciate each and every one of you that continue to tune in and watch this video. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs, man. I'm out of here.